Rutherford Atomic Model. I am your chemistry teacher, Samhim Das. Today's objective, describe the contribution that Rutherford made to the development of the atomic theory. We will be study stepwise first introduction series of experiment. We perform gold foil experiment, conclusions and defects. First, series of experiment. The gold foil experiment give the information that the atom is mostly having empty space. This series of experiment by which scientists discovered that every atom has a nucleus. Therefore, all of its positive charge and most of its mass is concentrated in the nucleus. Introduction This model of an atom was developed by Rutherford, a New Zealand native working at the University of England in early 1900. He won the Nobel Prize series of experiments. Rutherford spent most of his academic career researching aspect of radioactivity and in 1908 he won the Nobel Prize for his discoveries related to the radioactivity. It was after that Rutherford began developing his model of the atom. Rutherford gold foil experiment. According to this model Rutherford performs gold foil experiment to understand how negative and positive charges could coexist in an atom. He bombarded alpha particles on a 0.0004 cm thick gold foil. Alpha particles are emitted by radioactive element polonium. He used polonium in this experiment. These are actually helium nuclei, doubly positively charged. Most of these particles pass straight through the file. Only few particles were slightly deflected. Observe this diagram. He used a box. Inside the box, he placed radioactive substance. In front of this box, where radioactivity, radioactive rays release, he placed gold file. Around the gold file, he placed the deflection screen where he observed the activity of radioactive rays. According to his observation, scattering of alpha particles by the atom of gold file, he observed that majority of alpha particles pass through the file undeflected. One in one million showing deflection small deflection or larger deflection greater than 19. Few of them are bounce back or repelled back. Conclusions. Almost all particles pass through the foil undeflected. So he concluded that since most of the particles pass through the foil undeflected, therefore most of the volume occupied by an atom is empty. A few were deflected at fairly large angles and few were bounced back on the hitting the gold file. He concluded that the deflection of few particles proved that there is a center of positive charges in an atom which is called nucleus of an atom. Massive alpha particles are not deflected by the electrons. Planetary model. On the basis of conclusions drawn from these experiments, Rutherford proposed a new model of an atom. He proposed a planetary model similar to the solar system of an atom. An atom is a neutral particle. The mass of an atom is concentrated in a very small dense positively charged region. He named this region as nucleus. The electrons are revolving around the nucleus in circles. These are called of electron balances the electrostatic force of the orbit, the centripetal force due to the revolution attraction between the nucleus and the electrons. Defects The Rutherford model of an atom resembles our solar system. It has following defects. According to the classical theory of radiation, electrons being the charged particles should release or emit energy continuously 
and they should ultimately fall into the nucleus but it is not happening number 2 if the electrons emit energy continuously they should form a continuous spectrum but in fact we observe line spectrum therefore line spectrum was observed overview now summarize of the four atomic model although the scientists had objection on the atomic model presented by rutherford yet it cultivated through provoking ideas among them they initiated the quest to answer the following question how can an atom collapse or why are atoms stable why does an atom give the line spectrum scientists considered there must be another model of an atom it indicated that rutherford's model was not perfect now recap or review we will recap planetary model series of experiment and conclusion and effect planetary model it which is similar to the solar system sun is considered as the nucleus and planets are revolve around the nucleus considered as an electron or the area, the path where they revolve are considered as the orbit series of experiment the atom is mostly empty spaces all of its positive charge and most of its mass is concentrated in the nucleus conclusions since most of the particles pass through the foil undeflected therefore most of the volume occupied by an atom is empty number 2 the deflection of a few particles proved that there is a center of positive charge in an atom which is called nucleus of an atom massive alpha particles are not deflected by electron defects he according to rutherford we observe falling defect in his model according to classical theory of radiation electrons being the charged particle should release or emit energy continuously and they should ultimately fall into the nucleus but we observe it is not happening if the electrons emit energy continuously they should form a continuous spectrum but in fact line spectrum was observed hope you understand if you have any question or queries please message me thank you